dear friends. Good to see you. Welcome to Education 3000 with our series of videos on education, the, edu the education we really want, a new one. I am Noemi Paimal, the founder of Education 3000. And uh, hello, Dave. How are you? Hello, Noemi. Hi, everybody watching at home. I'm David Fegan, the International English Program Coordinator at uh, P3000, Education 3000. So Naomi, we're, we're almost finished the level one series of videos co-recreating education. What are we going to look at in this video? Very special subject. Remember last time we saw non-violent communication? So now we go straight to these cultures. That's why I am in white. <laughs> and it's so important that education and peace culture, we work together. We have the same vision. So we had a special video on these very, very important topics. And we talk about peace inside, peace with others, and peace with nature is the, the most, the peace in all its level. So yeah, peace, culture, and education go together hand in hand. Yes. And people say, when should I introduce peace culture? <laughs> Kinder, primary, from the womb, from the fetus, the mother should be relaxed and in peace and helped by the community. And uh, it's from the beginning of your life up to your last breath to die in peace as well. So there is a lot to say. We will do, do for this time a summary with the history and the different approach we had these recent years. And then we will do with level two, we will do more tools with a subject called Peace Ambassador, Ambassador Peace, Peace Ambassador Schools. So Peace Ambassador Schools, uh-huh. Thank you, Dave. And as always, this is the third time, not the fourth time I recommend this book, but Again, in case you, didn't, you haven't seen the previous videos, the book of Marshall Rosenberg is one of the best books to have the base about nonviolent communication and uh, peace tools or peace skills in our daily, daily life. The story starts in uh, 1932. So we can see the peace flag, the image which we've now got in color in, in red and white. And that image is uh, an image of the delegates of the second international conference ded dedicated to the Rorich Pact. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this was in uh, Bruges in Belgium in 1932. So you can see the flag um, that's hung up there in the archway. And obviously that symbol you'll see a lot in this video as well. The peace so flag. this is the first time peace issues and peace flag was brought in the international community by Nicholas Rorich from Russia, from St. Petersburg. A very important moment in history. And what about the four pillars of education, the four pillars of learning? Yeah, they're really quite famous, but it was right to mention it mm -hmm. because it was the first report done to UNESCO. Actually, it's called the Ross Report as well. And it was 96 where finally, it was recognized education must be integral with the learning how to know. And usually it was only that, no? But not only to know, to live together in peace, to do. You remember the, the red petal? You remember which petal? It was about uh -huh. doing uh -huh. and learning to be. So it was a great, great. Uh, Stone, how do you say stone? Ste a stone, a stepping stone, yeah. Stepping stone. Or a foundation, you could say as well. Not just a now, not just maybe a stepping stone, but a real a, a strong foundation on yeah. which we've we've built Corner upon. Stone right? In education and peace culture. Of course, now we have to implement it. All of us, all of us around the world together. Then another important document. The Seville Statement on Violence, that which was um, in 1989, and some of the, the key points there, peace is possible because war is not a biological misfortune. So, so what does that mean, Naomi? It's, war is because not a biological misfortune. Before it misfortune. was, no, 
war is no more. The human beings are warriors and there is uh, inevitable. And they made a lot of research and they finally figured out this is not true. It's an invention. So we invent war, it's a social invention. So by the same way we can and invent, I mean, we can delete war. It's not a necessity, it's not a biological necessity by any means. And at the other point there that we wanted to mention from the Seville statement on violence, war is yeah a social invention and peace can be built instead in its place. Everybody would be a lot happier, right? Yes, so we are responsible to build the peace. So yeah, I think, I think that's important to, to not use that as an excuse like, oh, it's in our nature anymore. Yes, and violence as well, like domestic violence. Oh, I can't help. Uh, uh, sorry, I hate you. It's not true. It's not true at all. So biologists and anthropologists and famous anthropologists, yeah, helped with this research and we had this beautiful statement. And we have more. Yeah, we. I think there is a raise of consciousness around the world. It was a decade, peace decade. So 2000 to 2010 was declared a peace decade. Uh, UNESCO stipulated the importance of everyone's commitment to a culture of peace and nonviolence. And you can see in Spanish, Informe Mundial. Would you like to translate that? Yeah, so it was like um, a, 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 a worldwide report from UNESCO to invest uh, in, in cultural diversity and uh, intercultural dialogue. And now it's exactly what we want to implement inside the schools. From the earliest age we can, everywhere around the world, nothing less. And this document is beautiful. It's 2015, one of the last one, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, and so, yeah, we've got the four pillars of education again there. So that's appearing a lot as part of this peace culture. And this uh, restoration of education, we wanted to highlight that common welfare around the world can sort of be achieved through sustainable development as a permanent concern. So in the same way, you need to eat. Okay, so this we, we also want sustainable development, sustainable. So again, talking about in harmony with the environment as well. Uh, we can achieve common welfare internationally through a humanist perspective to transform education. Education is key in this to a better society. Yes. Um, broadening of public policies. Yes, make the government more aware, definitely. Education is a human right for everybody. So I think, for example, Naomi, uh, I'm from Australia. I, I'm, I'm lucky my parents um, always supported me. We, we had a, a typical family. You know, Australia, I can travel basically anywhere in the world. Not everybody has the same uh, possibilities. And, and like it, this idea of like the, you know, the cards that you get in life. So education should be a human right for everybody. It shouldn't be just, you know, for some people, you know, like, like you or I, everybody should have that right. And education is key. Yes, and, 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 and the statement is not only to write and uh, read and math. I mean, the old education where you were just uh, swallowing information and be- Absorbing, like, absorbing information. Yeah, absorbing. Learning to be a good person. It has to be, learn to be to be a human being, to be and to have all your talents flourishing. We're talking about a new education. So, so one of those pillars, like Naomi said, the learn to be pillar, that's really a fundamental access for a more human, sustainable and peaceful world and a way to achieve common welfare. Yeah, this was emphasized in this document of um, 2015, Restoration of Education. So, so we had to do something. So remember we, we had this program with refugee children. So after this program, we decided to do a big like awareness campaign. I can choose and I choose peace. In Espanol, you puedo elegir el la paz. So we sent to everybody We had this little sign with a heart. We involved everybody. I remember I even involved my dentist and took a picture of him. It was like, tell everybody to create a culture, a consciousness. And this was after this, when I went to Syria, and that's me here. 
And I was so impressed. This is right at the border when you have all the Mediterranean checking posts and everything. And it was a war. I entered when it was a war and post war. I went three times actually. And they welcome you. That country is amazing. With love and peace, welcome to Syria. Because Syrian people are incredible people. So it's not their war, definitely. So I went off the car and everybody said, no, don't go out of the car. And that we took the picture because I cried. I did. With love and peace, welcome to Syria. So this is another act of brotherhood. And uh, again, our eight levels quickly because we saw that in the pink petal, remember? But it's very good to review that. And so, yeah, we can we can talk about the eight levels of peace, um, inner peace. So peace with oneself, inner peace, peace at school, peace in your family, also with your family lineage as well, your ancestors, yeah. local, national peace, peace and with nature. And be proud nature. of your lineage because that's your DNA. That's the heritage of your ancestors. Oh yeah, may maybe if if your 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 family situation is more complicated, at least. Uh, being at peace with with whatever sort of um lineage you have it's still nice to know where you come from number five peace with nature obviously that is so important right now as the animals and the and all the natural spaces of the earth continue to diminish hopefully that that's something that's so important peace in the world universal peace and peace with history and religions we all have different points of view we all come from different cultures we need to find peace between those, not trying to say mine is better than yours, this, this culture of domination, of control of, no, we're not looking at that. Yeah, all the same, you are one. So this is to introduce in all the schools, of course. And remember we talked in the pink petal as well about languages as a beautiful peace tool. And, and I mean, like at the moment, English is, is one of, you know, if not the most important language for communication internationally. We're not saying it's the best or the most important because we like it or we speak it, but that's a way to connect and communicate with other people and create a culture of peace. Local languages are extremely important as well, and they're being lost. And that's a way to connect with other people's culture, with history, with, with, with knowledge. Spanish also represents a large part of the world as does China and and Arabic cultures, yes. But other languages that you like as well, maybe languages in in neighboring countries. We're in Bolivia, so Portuguese, yes, is obviously it makes sense. Sign language as well. Not everybody, you know, has 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 the ability to speak, but we can communicate them with them through sign language, and all of this allows us to communicate to understand each other better if we use it in the right way, right? Yes. And the children are very good with sign language and they really like it. And it's silence. I mean, they, they, uh, there is something very special and they can communicate behind your back. <laughs> so we have a special program, mm -hmm. but uh, this we will talk later, right? Yep. And it's called Peace Ambassador Schools. It's an entire program of one year, plus you have a follow up of one year. It's very complete. So, please watch this video when we reach level two pretty soon. And meanwhile, we can always do this very short and easy program. It's called Make Peace Visible. And it's called 000001000V. Secret code. What is it? What does that secret code stand for? It's not an emergency number, but the zero stands for zero bullying, zero garbage, zero CO2. 1,000 represents 1,000 trees planted per year, which is a bit of a challenge, right, Naomi? We, yeah, but between we'd, we'd all like the community to see and that. the parents and the community and the municipality, that is a good number, I would yeah, say. So, so a challenge is in like, we want to ask people to try and do that. Not, not, it's, it's not the challenge like, oh, it's so difficult. Try and that's a, that's a good sort of goal. And of course it's visible. The peace is visible. The trees, obviously, Naomi, a very visible way of seeing peace and peace with nature, for example. 
Yeah, and we involve everybody. So the whole community has to be part because it's quite a large number. So they have to help the children. Plus it's your own, usually your own children or the children of the neighborhood. You involve the municipality, you involve, you need a piece of land. So the, the kids, they know how to negotiate as well. They do uh, most of the thing of the, the, the planning and the planting. And, and we- and I, Sorry, Naomi. No, go ahead. Uh, the other thing I was going to say about like just the example of planting trees, it also links into a lot of the other things that we've talked about, like, you know, self-love in a piece, because if you destroy your environment that you live in, that's not really loving yourself. You might not notice it. It's not, we're not judging either if, if, if that's the case, but nature is art, nature is love. Nature makes you feel so good and, and you you need to take care of your environment. Otherwise, I don't know, Naomi, would you like to live in, in a world that was just concrete buildings? No way. Like, like the matrix or something? No way. We couldn't survive. We're not, we're not trying to sound hippie, but it's it's, it's just <laughs> the way it is, you know? <laughs> we're, we're tearing down the forest. And visible. Visible it means it's clear that here in this school or in your neighborhood or in your house, peace is the rule. I mean, it's uh, the culture. And you make it visible. So it, we can paint uh, a mural. We can have all these boards with all the collage. Together we build peace. Juntos construimos la paz. Uh, symbols of peace, concert of peace, movies of peace, festival of peace. And uh, always it's, um, it's like a reminder. Oh, right here, it's peace culture. So I can fight, I can do some bullying. And then it will go little by little. Uh, inside, I mean, it will sink in. And then all the neighborhood will participate as well. And little by little, we reach more people from inside to outside and from the local piece to the national piece and then the world piece in this order. So it's both a local and an international proposal, right? Mm -hmm. Why did you want to show the image of the seven pedal schools, which we we looked yeah, at in quite detail. How how is that related to peace culture? Do you for those think the, the PowerPoint? I realized that each petal, and that was designed that way, each petal will enhance, will help, will uh, emphasize, and will be geared to what peace culture as well will help. Let's say blue petal, you feel good physically, so your violence go down because you are not stressed. The yellow, you have a lot of information, you understand things, you understand history, you understand the human um, psyche, nature. mentality, psyche, mentality, the human psyche, cultures. So by knowing a lot of topics, you get tolerant because you, you understand the why. Pink, of course, because it was a, the, the battle of the peace culture and emotional intelligence per se, White, because when you can express yourself and you, you lack arts, of course, you are in harmony. So you are not violent. Peace with nature is obvious with a green petal, ecology, environment, awareness. To do, which is the red one. To do, if you have the satisfaction to do, to complete what you think or dream, you can do it. You are in peace with yourself because you are doing your purpose of life. So it's a wonderful inner peace to see. And Violet is know thyself. So it's all the tools to be in peace inside, relaxed, and have um, a lot of knowledge of your own experience. So when you go through all the petals, they all help with peace culture. That's why we call it the Seven Petal School for Peace, actually. Because it was designed and uh, implement with this with this piece in mind from the beginning, in mind and in heart. A little of bibliography, if you want to know more, maybe get acquainted with those beautiful authors. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we can see uh, Johan Galtun from Norway, John Paul Lederach from uh, USA, and Vincent Martinez Guzman. So these, these are some of the, the authors that we've, you know, also referenced and used to guide our thinking and, and you know, all, all of this information is available 
on the website and that's all in the description below. We'll also share the links at the end of the video. The same with the seven pedal schools for peace we did in this level one series of videos. There are seven videos about each of the pedals or the pedagogical areas to create that peace culture, right? Yeah, very practically, very concretely. I mean, that's, uh, we are not in the utopia anymore. We are doing it. And that's a wonderful step for the whole humanity. And I like very much this author, Munoz Munoz, Francisco Munoz Munoz from Spain. What do you like about this imperfect piece? We've also got practical piece. What are these yeah. sort of ideas? In perfect peace, peace, in perfect peace, it's like peace is always building up. So because if you look for everything perfect, I know you are a perfectionist. <laughs> if you want the perfect peace right away, no. But if you accept the process, yeah, it's more, I mean, first, it's more practical. And second, you don't feel frustrated and you recognize the, the process. And the second one is practical. It's called as well, heuristic piece from heuristic intelligence when uh, even though it's not perfect we do it and we are not afraid to do and to do the seven pieces of school for peace and do all the ideas and uh, the famous zero 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 one thousand v uh, proposal or program mm -hmm. and the nice things about francisco is from spain andalus which is south of space andalusia i think in english andalusia andalus. mm -hmm. And he wanted to transform the same as us, all the schools into peace, peace, uh, peace space. And that's very practical too. So I really like his work. And now UNESCO too, they have a school affiliate to peace program. So you can register to that too. And as well as, <laughs> Very modestly. So some free okay. resources as well. These are again, all on the, on the website because we, we want to try and share this information in a free way so as many people as possible can 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 get it and can share it and can use it and so that we can co-create together this is a pocketbook naomi that that you wrote uh with nelly chavaria in 2016. What, what, what's maybe the uh the takeaway the pocketbook it's it's uh it's free on website it's very easy to unload very easy to read with all the basic about peace. Like um, from history, what is a Roman peace, a Greek peace? The Greek peace is amazing. Do you know what it is? Tell me, please. The Greek peace is like from Greece, right? Like, oh, everything is all right. Everything is all right. And you don't attend anything. You just put down, right? Try to hide. No, no, we are all okay. So people are a little bit shy. Like me at the beginning, I was Greek peace. Like, no, no, it's okay. Don't make fuss. Don't, don't make more problems. And I would, I was, I was afraid to attend a conflict or something. We really have to do, to to attend. So but, this is explained uh, in this little book and with a lot of exercise at the end. So I would recommend for beginners or if you want to be introduced or you have a class and you want to introduce peace culture, use this little book. And as we saw in the and last English, video, by the way. sorry, so yeah, in Spanish and English. And as we saw in the last video about nonviolent communication, you don't have to just accept, accept, be passive. If you're not, if you don't feel comfortable with something or something makes you upset, there are ways to, to deal with that as well. There was another book that, that you wrote, Naomi, that you that, that we're going to have a quick look at. Yeah, we wrote together. It was an old team and it's called Active Peace because after the first little book, people wanted, what can I do in a school? What kind of experience do we have? What was working? So we compiled every a bunch of experiences and tools inside schools and uh, from different countries, maybe 12 countries, and it's inside this book, Active Peace. And this is a big book. It's not a pocket book. And thanks to Nelly, because she's the one who compiled most of the book. And the, uh, it's in trans we are translating right now, so it could be available pretty soon. And here are our contacts. So those books and, and a lot of other free resources, a lot, like 20, more than 20 years of work, you can find it on our website. This series of videos, which is the Education 3000 Level 1 series, co uh, 
co-recreating education is all on YouTube along with a lot of other videos that we've done. And get in touch on Facebook, email, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you because it's co-recreating. We're doing this together. So we, we want to hear from you, please. And this is all below in the description. And you can also leave a comment in the comment section. So Naomi, we're, we've got one more video left. Maybe we'll do a, a little bonus video. What's our last of the 25 videos going to be about? The 25 is about your generation. <laughs> It's about young people, who they are, how they 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 handle the situation, the the different characters characters um, profile. They're very interesting. You you will recognize your 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 children, but as well you will recognize yourself. So the next okay. video extremely important. So yeah, we're, please join us for, for the last video of the 25 in the Education 3000 Co-Recreating Education Level 1 series. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you to everybody. Please get in touch. Check out those resources. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.